what's going on with Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast, and Hasbro. They've been completely called out by Elon Musk. This is going to be an awakening that no one, no one can see coming. Um, I've spoken at length about Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards of the Coast, Magic the Gathering on this channel, but nothing more fitting than where I find myself today in the middle of a situation of uh, a very different style. Cosplayers, Dungeons and Dragons, this is something that has always been true to my heart and why I do talk about these things, why I've always talked about these things, and when it comes to the latest version of Dungeons and Dragons, there's a lot of people upset. It, it, it didn't bode over well, they got rid of certain things, they got rid of the aspects of the game that made it the game that it is. They, they pretty much gave you, here's a blank sheet, just doodle whatever you want on that, and that's what the game is now. What the game used to be is a set of rules that would be very different and very telling and very unique to the characters that you were able to build. Now, the Grums, this is someone I've spoken about lots in the past on my older videos. He put up a very lengthy post about how Dungeons & Dragons, the, the newer guard of Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast, are calling out the original creators, namely Gary Gygax, one of the, one of the greats when it came to fantasy and storytelling in and around Dungeons and & Dragons and just role-playing in general. And this has caught, obviously, Elon Musk. And now with the new, with the new stuff that came out, uh, obviously in the U.S. election and new things coming out, Obviously, I, there's something here that I've seen, and uh, that is the whole DEI is on the way out. It's on the way out for everything. And things are going to kind of get back to a normal, everyday basis when it comes to these things. There's a lot of people, both sides of the coin, that do find this very disturbing. Now, when it comes to Dungeons & Dragons, there's a lot of things that they've talked about. Um, they're in there. They're degrading the original uh, adventures where you go and free slaves. They're degrading the game saying it was nothing but a racism um, by putting these things in there, by showcasing people's own unique individualities. And that's what the new creators are trying to denounce from the old creators, which doesn't do anything justice. Unfortunately, when it comes to a storytelling, you need the good and the bad. And that's where I find myself. I find myself in the middle of all of it, where I do see the good and the bad in all things. Not just one set of people. I see it in all things. And because of that, there is a very unique storyline that I believe everyone can play. And honestly, when it comes to the fandom that I found myself in, yes, there is a crap ton of people that see things very differently. And... They're, they're welcome to the having those opinions. And I think they honor them and true to themselves by doing those things. But in no way do I believe a corporation like Hasbro, like Wizards of the Coast, should be placating to something like this. Pandering in that sense. Because then you cut off everyone else in the market. And that doesn't create something more it doesn't bring people together it creates a divide and that divide is what i have seen in all things right now when it comes to talking on either side of this coin either side of this spectrum either side of the political sphere and why i don't try to talk about it why i don't generally go into you know i've spoken about woke things in the past i've spoken about sjw's i've spoken about all these things it pains me just to even bring up those topics because I don't believe they, they placate things that are positive in any light for anything. And, you know, I've always been one to sit there and look at the middle. And that's where I find myself. Now, the post in particular, Grum starts it off with D&D creators Gygax and others are erased and slandered at the same time. This, I, I made a video on this. I went in detail on this video. They posted this on their YouTube channel for Dungeons & Dragons. I made 
videos on this already. This is nothing new. Like the post that Grums put out there is absolutely nothing new. What's new is the fact that Elon Musk has now stepped into the fray on all of this. Probably one of the most influential people in the world right now with, uh, with having the ear of the new president. That shows that there's going to be a reckoning coming down the line. Does the guy's opinions really matter in the long run? Well, at this point, it's going to be very influential to everyone out there. I was asked at one point, uh, you know, who's someone that I would love to meet. And honestly, if I was able to meet Elon Musk, it wouldn't be for his opinions. It would have an idea on behind the scenes of SpaceX because space and space exploration is absolutely phenomenal to try and understand. Nobody, I mean, nobody gets to trash E. Gary Gygax and the geniuses that who created Dungeons and Dragons. What the fuck is wrong with Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast? May they burn in hell. This is what I'm talking about. This is, this doesn't bring people back to the mill. Obviously this now creates a situation scenario where people are going to get upset. One way to solve this is Hasbro gets sold. I, I, I believe this was something that's been on, on the minds of a lot of shareholders on a lot of people that work at Hasbro is quite possibly they may, may get purchased in the next little bit. They're a $7 billion company. You, $10 billion, the company is yours pretty much. And if you find a way out there, you know, they came out with Baldur's Gate with Larian Studios. Larian Studios, thankfully behind it, but Hasbro was still pulling some strings there. And, you know, a lot of people get upset with me over Baldur's Gate stuff, but they don't understand the nuance behind Hasbro. And that's where I'm, I'm trying to tell you. They're a snake in the weeds. They are not a good company. They will do anything in their power that they believe panders and will will propagate up their brand in such a way that they think they're doing something good when in fact they're actually making things way worse this is what has happened here with the new dungeons and dragons book like i said the new stuff with elon musk now that he's out there saying something about it it's on his radar it's been on his radar for a while myself many others have said just buy the company somebody buy up this company and make things change but no one wants to do that, so it continues to move forward. They continue. They're also, Hasbro's being sued right now for overproducing uh, toys, and shareholders are upset over Star Wars toys, and, you know, they also got caught scrapping Magic the Gathering cards in landfill. They're doing a lot of things that are very shady, and they're manipulating the market. So, at this point... Do, does the FTC, does someone down in one of the new state's entities that's going to come in, are they going to open the books on Hasbro? Or is someone like Elon Musk willing to step in and just buy them up and say, forget about it and let's move on with our lives? This, this is the tough, the tough scenario. This is where we have to deal with things. Not everyone likes these types of topics. I've kind of moved away from these types of topics because I find myself in a completely different space in in life right now and I believe that being able to put a step forward and say hey listen let's come to the middle let's make an agreement let's let's talk about these things and stop fighting with each other because that's what's going on I I see things in a very different light than a lot of people in the world right now um, I don't know if it's because of my age I don't know if it's because I'm completely mental in the inside or if because i don't give two fucking craps what people think i say anymore you can either listen to what i have to say or you can just ignore what i have to say and move on to the next person these are things that i've done for years i've been in i i've done youtube now for a very long time and when it comes to dungeons and dragons and wizards of the coast if it wasn't for dungeons and dragons i wouldn't be here today and i truly think that if it wasn't for my newfound hobby, I might be in that same scenario now. Um, but I, I, I don't think I would. I'm just way happier than I ever, ever have been in my life. And I've got a lot of things that's rattling around in my head as to why I've fallen into this. Um, and a lot of people probably don't even understand it. So that's, that's the biggest deal here, right? I see things very differently. I absolutely truly believe the new friends I have made they are some of the best people I've ever known in my life um, a lot of people see things very very persuasive and very very negative 
about this fandom and you're all wrong. I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, you're all wrong. That's the problem. Yes, there are bad people around. Yes, there are bad things that have happened in the world. But when it comes to a storyline like Dungeons & Dragons, you're writing your own story. And that's what I'm trying to do here today is write my own story and say, hey, listen, I interact with everyone out there in the world. Who, what, where, what mark are they going to leave on me? What mark am I going to leave on them? And that's what I see today. And why I think Dungeons & Dragons was once a very good game. Yes, there was a set of rules that you followed. Yes, it created differences. Yes, it created stereotypes. These are things that we all have lived with in life. And it's not all happy rainbows and unicorns out there that you like to think it's going to be. Unfortunately, life is not easy. And in some cases, if you can live through a fantasy world and get through a fantasy world, it moves you forward for more things in life and it prepares you for things in life that really does throw that curveball. When that system is completely ruined, when they denounce the original creators on it and say, hey, listen, they're doing it wrong. They, they, they created a system that is very, very racist or uh, is very negative light on other people. Unfortunately, that's human nature. And it's what we do with that afterwards. How do you learn from that? How do you move forward in life if you've never experienced some of these things in life? That's the difference, right? Yes, it, sometimes those experiences in Dungeons & Dragons can be very, very down. They can have a whole array of emotions. But it also lets you learn from them and move on from them and... Sometimes you need those emotions to, to know when you actually feel like you're alive. Anyway, I digress. I've talked long enough. I'm going to leave this here and everyone out there, have yourselves a great day. Please do like and subscribe. Come follow me over on Twitch. Follow my TikToks. Follow me here on YouTube. I've got a whole plethora of things that I can do. And uh, it's all thanks to the community around here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again. And I'm just going to keep one more thing here. Hashtag keep gaming fun, because that's what it's all about. Are you having fun with it? Does it matter what the rules really are? Make up your own rules at this point and move on from this stupid ridiculousness that created um, a, a whole plethora of things out there in the market that just goes beyond anything out there how can you hate the creator of something so badly and still play the game have yourselves a great day don't forget to like and subscribe